everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange, and today I'm incredibly pleased to have with me Johnny Water from Daredevil Pedals and Mr. Taranzo Cannon. You know, I can't, I can't do this. Mike? Mike? Dude. Stop. Stop. You told me that this was going to be like really informal. Stop. And he looks like he's going to church or something. He's like dressed up super nice. Stop. And I look like I'm going to a hipster tractor pull or some shit. We're here to talk about the Daredevil Chicago Way Pedal, which is a collaboration between these two fine gentlemen sitting to my left and to my right. Um, so t talk to me about this collaboration. How did this come to be? Well, I called John up at, I think, 3.30 in the morning, and I said <laughs> I had an idea. And he said, call me back at 7.30. So I let him say the rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, what was the initial vision at 3 in the morning? Well, well I saw a video. Of it's been rolling around my head for about a year almost. And I, I just wanted to get that sound in one box. The guy that was using the pedals, he had two or three different pedals. So I thought Johnny could put it in one box for me. So I sent him a bunch of videos. So consolidation. Yes. Now, Johnny, it's got two separate things here. Um, talk to me about what's going on on the inside of this pedal. This was pretty much based entirely on just strict functionality of what he wanted to accomplish with all this. It was like, here's the tone, you gotta figure out how to make that happen, and I want it to do this. So you can stack, you can, yeah. you're saying you can switch the way that these are stacking, so what's going right. on? Basically, that was the only point of contention about this whole pedal, was he liked it one way, and I liked it stacked the other way. And I said, well, you know what, instead of getting into this whole thing, we kinda made the pedal a little more complex and just added this cool little switch, which seems simple, but it was actually kinda confusing. And now you can flip-flop the order of the pedals, or the, the effects, and uh, it has a pretty profound, you know, effect on tonal, the tone of it. Tonal yeah. difference. Tonal difference is, is very noticeable, which is why we went through the extra effort to make that a thing. And a lot of people like it one way or the other. You've played it, you can definitely tell what, you know, which order is which. So. Sure. I won't ask you which way was whose idea. So. Well, I'm from the South Side, so the South Side Drive was first. I, I told you I wasn't yeah. going Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So what's the flag on the front? The Chicago flag. What's that? The overdrive part was pretty easy because he had a couple that he liked and he said, here, take these, check them out. They'd both been kind of modded. Uh, so I modded it some more and we kind of made this Frankenstein version of like an old TS-808 kind of boss overdrive, but not either, but kind of both. And then we took, uh, ended up with Sam Ashfuzz, which I've never been a fan of. Um, so I kind of just completely took apart how it should be and modded it a lot and kind of opened it up and made it so that it stacked better with the overdrive without just getting all mushy and gnarly. Can't beat yeah. that. Well, four, because you could switch the order. Four. Ah, four. Right? Does that count? Uh, now yeah, you guys yeah. are just being yeah. cocky. Yeah. Well, then yeah. it'll make you play guitar better. That's the most important thing. Right. And, and you'll look cooler. That's right. And you can't put a price on cool. Will you have more friends? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I will be talking to you after this video. Well, thanks for checking it out with us. Let's play some music, shall we? We're going to play some music. Uh, some, blues, some blues music. Thanks to my friend Toronzo Cannon. What are you doing? Sit down. Let's check it out and see how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 